Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. It's Friday the 26th of January, which happens to be Australia Day. Now, I've had a really busy week and I haven't done much crafting. I'm still quite sore from my fall. And yesterday was the um, presentation of our scholarships from work. We do tertiary education scholarships to students heading off to university. And we gave away over $90,000 yesterday for students studying everything from medicine to musical theater. Look, it is exhausting. And I am really glad when it's finally over, but it is rewarding and can be a lot of fun and a great moment to cherish. And especially for those young adults heading off to university and we wish them well. So being a public holiday today and Australia Day, I was just going to take it easy, do some crafting, cook something Australian. Like we'd, I cooked Royce lamb and did a pavlova for dinner. Um, we don't go to any of the big Australia Day events or do anything special or have wild parties. Um, we still recognise Australia Day. Some people want to call it Citizens Day. Some people don't want it at all. I'm not going to get into the politics. For me, it's just a day off to chill out, craft, and enjoy some food with the family. So, what did I craft? Well, I stuck to an Australia Day theme. I am doing squares for Shutterbug AU as my second project, and I, need, I will need extra squares, and I thought today, well, I could do some squares, Australia Day squares. And I chose the colours our Australian teams, when they compete in the Olympics or overseas, wear green and gold. And that's what I thought I would make my squares because I shop my stash instead of using my cash. So the first square I made is this one. They're all the same pattern. I want the blanket when I finish it to be all the same. And I did gold with a bit of green. I'm not going to do lots of colours and changing. I don't want lots of ends. Just a couple of ends each square is fine by me. And then I did a second one to use up the scraps green with a bit of gold. So I've got two squares and I will have a couple others so I can start joining as I go. Um, thank you to all those lovely subscribers who left comments and shared links or suggestions on people who teach tutorials on how to join as you go because I've never had a great deal of success with it. So I will be checking those out and wish me luck joining my squares. <laughs> I'm also doing the hashtag it's hip to be square so I'm double dipping here. The other thing I thought I'd do is I'd make an amigurumi today. Um, not necessarily finish it today but I would start an Australiana type amigurumi. No, not traditional kangaroo or koala. I do bilbies at Easter. I decided I would do a platypus. I haven't finished him but I'll share with you my whip, which I rarely do. So I am making Percy the platypus. I'm not using those colors. It's from the Cuddly Animals to Crochet book, 29 cute toys to make and love. And it was given to me as a gift by Janice from Victoria, a Yarny friend and subscriber. Thank you, Janice. I really enjoyed this book. I hope you had a great Australia day. So, my Percy. Well, he's legless at the moment. That doesn't mean he's been drinking today. He just doesn't have legs. Here he is. I haven't quite finished his eyes. He's supposed to have some eyelashes. And his legs are stuffed and ready to be sewn on. But I don't think that'll be happening today. I'm pretty sore now um, from in the ribs. And I might just relax the last hour or so before I turn in for the night. His floppy tail. He has worked up really quickly, um, a lot quicker than I thought, and he's a lot bigger than I thought. And I've just used scrap yarn or yarn from my yarn store, and it's all um, Spotlight Marvel 8 ply. And it's 2.75 millimeter crochet hook, but it does actually whip up really quickly. So I will show you Percy in another video as a finished object when he's got his legs and his proper face on. But I did more like a traditional colour platypus, although they don't have yellow noses and tails. I just thought it was a better contrast and wasn't dull. 
We actually have platypus up on the tablelands just outside of Yungaburra. There is a viewing platform, it's all free, and you can go there and hopefully see platypus. But you need to go very early morning or late evening. I have never seen them. Thing has been there and seen them. He's probably stopped off on the way to work when he used to work up that way, but he said it was very early morning. And yeah, you can't, he said, if you go in the middle of the day, they're going to be under the water hiding. But yeah, we have platypus in our area. And I thought, well, platypus are Australian and it's a great project for Australia Day. Guys, if you're Australian, I hope you did whatever you wanted to do, but at least you had a bit of crafting time today. To everyone else, stay well, take care, and make sure you have one crafty day, regardless of whatever it is. Bye for now.